Those who run agricultural operations might hesitate to implement proper research conservation. Reasons could include time, cost, lack of knowledge, even fear of change. But one program teaches participants that sustainable land management is easier and more economical than you might think. And as Farm Week's Amy Myers reports, it can even help increase revenue. During a workshop at Prairie Wildlife in West Point, Mississippi, participants learned that one of the many ways to implement resource conservation is to graze cattle on native warm season grasses. There's a lot of research going on at Mississippi State University looking at the effects of forage grasses. One of the things that we saw at Prairie Wildlife Preserve was cattle that were grazed on native warm season grasses and they were looking at the quality of the meat that was produced by those animals, the weight gain that was produced by those animals, uh, and what we found in that research was that those animals did really, really well uh, on that native warm season grass. And in the end, that makes, uh, makes more money uh, available to the producer because he's working with a system that just works better. MSU Extension Assistant Professor Dr. Leslie Berger also says participants were educated about controlling erosion and mud with slag rock as well as the importance of providing clean water sources. Feeding and watering areas become very muddy. And not only the animals at a disadvantage because they're standing hawk deep in mud, that material runs off the landscape and can actually get into the waterways and create a, a water pollution problem. If you're not careful about your application of your herbicides or your pesticides, those can also flow over land and end up in the water supply. And then if you actually aren't careful about where your animals are drinking, then you might actually unintentionally be uh, potentially injuring your animals because they're drinking water that's picked up these chemicals. To learn more about financial assistance programs for making your land both profitable and sustainable, visit nrcs.usda.gov. I'm Amy Myers reporting. Now on next week's show, we'll have even more about the STARS workshop. Amy will introduce us to a college student who's using what she's learning at STARS to her benefit right now.